Hello and welcome to Winging It. So in this video I'll be doing something a little bit different where I'll be attempting a wingspan challenge. So in this game mode I'll be playing against the Automa but rather than just beat the Automa normally um, I've added in a few additional restrictions just to make it a bit more interesting uh, and a bit more challenging as well. So for those of you who don't know on the Wingspan Tournaments Discord server we have a challenges section which is run by Discord user Funbun, where there's a number of different challenges for beating the Automa in different ways with varying degrees of difficulty and levels of restrictions. So in this one I'll be doing today, the restrictions are that you can only play birds that are worth between zero and two points. So no big point birds, so you can see I've got a couple in my hand, there's the puffin in the tray which is nice, and then the heron that I've just drawn. You know, the, all these big point birds, I can't play them. So I'm really restricted in terms of, you know, how many points I'm going to be able to score um, just from playing birds. So really you've got to try and focus on, you know, scoring points in other ways. So lots of eggs, lots of tuck cards, bonus points, end of round goals and so on. So you'll see I've already got quite a nice setup here. Um, and then the killdo appears in the tray. So that's kind of the perfect bird for a challenge like this, you know. It's not worth a lot of points, but I know it's going to enable me to score a lot of points. Uh, I'm going to be able to get cards easily while laying eggs for scoring points. But also, uh, you know, with that Martin and with the American Robin in my hand as well, uh, I'm going to get so many tuck cards as well. So, yep, yeah, certainly, you know, that's the kind of bird you want to see uh, in a challenge like this. So really at this point, just as I said, want to be laying eggs, getting some cards. You know, a lot of these cards I'm going to be drawing are going to be worth more than two points, so uh, I'm not going to be able to play them. But that's where the strength of these tucking birds come in. You know, I'll be able to cycle through lots of cards um, and hopefully you know, find my way to more of these low point cards that are going to score points in other ways. So laying eggs, um, getting tuck cards, that sort of thing. So just while the gameplay carries on, I'll talk a little bit about some of the other challenges we've got on the server. Um, so we've got 13 challenges at the moment in total. Uh, and as I said, there's varying number of restrictions that are imposed on each of those. So we've got some to do with the food costs. So we've got a three food cost only challenge, which means you can only play birds have three food in their cost. We have a rodent only challenge, so that's quite an interesting one where you can only play birds that eat rodents so you're really kind of even restricting yourself even more in terms of um, you know being able to score points and get cards and get food and so on um, probably the most difficult one that took the longest for any of us to complete was the when played and no powers only so these are the the kind of birds that aren't going to score you points each turn because they don't have those brown powers um, and yeah, really quite difficult to be able to generate any sort of engine with birds like that. It's quite hard to get those resources, food and cards early on. Um, so that was a really difficult one. But uh, Grievenstein, who's kind of the challenge expert on the server, uh, he did manage to crack that one a few weeks ago. So that was really nice to see. Um, and yeah, really, I think there's a, you know, there's a good community around the challenges scene. Um, it's quite competitive, so obviously we do have a leaderboard for tracking records. Um, so beating the challenge is already difficult enough in itself. Um, but you've got that added motivation of you know, trying to set a really high score. So like I said before, the challenge isn't just to you know, finish a game um, following these rules. You've got to beat the Otoma as well, um, and that's not always easy. You know, especially playing against a hard automa like this, um, they can often set you know, scores in the high 90s or even in the hundreds. So, you know, beating them in a normal game is difficult enough. But when you've added all these restrictions, um, you are you are definitely making it harder for yourself. So, yeah, definitely. You know, like I said, it's a competitive scene, but um, I think there's a there's a good community aspect around it. You know, we're always sort of cheering each other on. So I always like to see if a challenge has been completed. Um, whenever Funbun comes up with a new one, there is always a bit of a race to see who can get there first. And yeah, some of them are easier than others. So, you know, you might see that completed within a few hours even. Um, but certainly some of them, in particular that, that when played powers only, that took a long time to crack. So um, yeah, definitely some fun challenges there. So if you haven't tried any of them out yet, I definitely recommend giving them a go. 
Um, and if you're not part of the Discord, come and join us. You know, this is just one small part of our community. Um, and yeah, there's plenty for you to get involved in. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below if you do want to come and join us. So just to take a quick look back at the board now. You see, you know, I've got quite a nice setup here. Um, Bush tit was kind of the icing on the cake. You know, you often find that you get a lot of extra bird cards when you do have a kill disc setup like this. Um, and you know, I'm, like I said before, I'm going to be drawing lots that I'm not going to be able to play. So if I am able to turn those into points using the bush tip, um, then that's all the better. So yeah, lots of egg spaces as well, which is good. You know, I've already got 29, and uh, with the Ula just bonus card, I'm kind of planning on playing you know at least a couple more birds just to try and max that out. So I'll be able to get a few more egg spaces. Uh, and yeah, you know, if I can max that bonus card out, if I can keep filling up on eggs, uh, if I can get a lot of tuck cards. And really try and you know target these end of round goals. I think I did manage to win uh, at least the second end of round, um, and I'm, I'm in a really strong position for this this third one as well. So that's kind of the key in a position like this. Like I said before, you know when you're restricted in terms of your point scoring ability from bird cards, you know I'm probably going to score somewhere in the teens just from bird points. You really need to prioritize and maximize those other areas so yeah you see already winning two end of round goals uh, probably not going to win this last one considering i don't have any uh, wetland birds down yet but i do have the whistling duck in my hand which is quite a nice one you know it's two points so it's at that upper limit of birds i can play uh, it's got lots of egg spaces which is going to help maximize that score uh, and yeah you know as long as i can get at least one bird down in the wetlands here uh, that's still gonna qualify me and get me four points. So, yeah, you'll see as soon as I kind of ran out of those egg spaces um, and, and couldn't run that engine anymore, um, I'll get that whistling duck down. You know, there's five egg spaces, really nice. Um, I can I can look to fill those up. And yeah, really at this point, I'm just kind of looking at those other birds in my hand. So I've got a couple of those forest birds. Um, <laughs> then I end up drawing another one here uh, in the nut hatch. Um, and then I tuck that and I draw the chickadee so really sportful choice here um, but ultimately you know it doesn't matter I'm not going to activate any of these birds um, it's just about getting one of these down on this penultimate turn they've all got the same egg spaces um, and it works out quite nicely because you know that leaves me with seven egg spaces free um, and if I discard this extra food I've got then I'm going to get exactly seven eggs on this turn so it always feels nice when you can really you know, maximise all of those egg spaces while also not missing out on any. Um, it does mean I can skip the kill to here at the end while still getting a final tuck on that Martin. So, yeah, I kind of felt like I maximised the score given the cards I was given. Obviously, the kill deer and those tucking birds uh, were really nice for a challenge like this. But, yep, that final round ends. Um, and as the scores start cutting up, you'll see, yeah, really uh, not a lot of bird points there, just 13. Uh, whereas the Otoma keeps counting up and it's going to get to 50 so yeah got a few bonus points uh, and did okay in the end of round goals but you know as it gets to, into the eggs you'll see that's kind of where most of the points are going to be coming from so you know 37 eggs is so nice uh, and then we get into the tuck cards and those keep counting up and it's 100 points which I was very happy with um, it wasn't quite enough to beat the existing record so you know as with most of these records it is held by Groovenstein uh, on 102 so I wasn't too far off you know, if I'd managed to win one of those end of round goals that I didn't win instead um, that could have been that could have been the difference here but I'll always take 100 points um, in a challenge like this with this, that kind of restriction so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this um, like I said plenty more challenges over on the discord server so yeah, many thanks to Funbun for organizing and running this it's really much appreciated uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.